Hello, Riddle 4th graders. Welcome to video 10. This is the end of the first, first quarter of school. Uh, today we're going to make a landscape using some lines. Over the weeks we've done, we've made a lot of art projects, a lot more than normal, um, but, but they can also be smaller. They don't have to, they're not as large of drawings as we normally would make. We've made the fall trees, we made a colorful leaf, we did the cat with lines, we did the eagle, we made a robot, we made uh, the three pumpkins, we made a Kandinsky, I love the Kandinsky's. To make a landscape with lines, I'm going to use my art card, once again, see how small it is, you don't have to work that large. I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to use it, my pencil very lightly, I'm going to make a couple chunks of land, so I just made two lines. It's like just two pieces of land. I'm going to make another one. They're just kind of random. They don't have to be exactly like mine. Just kind of pieces of ground. I'm going to make two more. So I just made some lines. Next, I'm going to start to make a tree right on the side here with my pencil. I'll show you what I mean here in one second. There's a tree. Next, I'm going to make another tree, it's a little bit smaller, kind of right back here. It's going to be smaller because it's it's higher up in the picture, so it's going to be farther away. And when it's farther away, it's going to be smaller. Next step. I'm going to draw another piece of land in the background here. I feel like it needs one. I'm going to make a sun up in the sky. Now we're going to do something different here. We're going to use lines. The only things that we're going to color all the way in are the sun and the trees. So, I'm going to start with the sun. I'm going to color the sun all the way in. And I feel like I need to go over that pencil line with the orange. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make circles around the sun. And I'm going over top of the trees a little bit. It's kind of neat that I just use a colored pencil. It could be a marker. It could be a crayon. And I made lines. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make, I'm going to fill up the entire sky. So I've done yellow, I'm going to do some orange, and then I'm going to do some red. But when I hit the bottom of the ground, I stop, just like I stopped up here, the line stopped. So I'm going to use orange. And I'm, I'm actually going over top the trees. I'm not worried about those right now, because I'm going to be coloring those guys in. We are making, we are using a different effect of applying color. There's the orange. It almost looks red on my screen. Next, I'm going to use some red. I'm going to use red on the rest of my sky. Stop out my tree. Okay. Now we have different sections of ground. These different sections of ground are going to be different colors. The colors that we're going to use, we're going to use a little mix. I'm going to use a purple on this first one. And in the first one, I'm just going to make lines curving this way 
and I'm just repeating lines over and over, over and over, and filling this shape of the land in. So when we're finished, this, this drawing is going to be entirely lines, and hopefully it looks kind of neat. Okay, so I've used purple here. I'm going to use purple again. I'm going to use that purple back here now. And every every time I do lines, I want to make the lines go a different direction. I don't want them to be the same. It's showing us the different depths in our in our landscape. Okay, we definitely need some green. I'm going to use a dark green in my next chunk of land. And I want the lines to go a different way than the first one. Okay. There's some green. It looks really dark. The lighting doesn't show up very good in here. I'm going to put some more of that dark green right over here. And I want to make it a different direction of the line. want it to be the same. That's cool. Looks like rows of a cornfield. I really am wanting to do some more green and I'm going to use this lime green next. I'm going to go with the contour of the land here with a lime green. In the background I have the hill, that last little hill. I'm going to do it with a lime green as well. Um, because I want the repetition, I'm repeating, repeating some colors. Now, the only thing we have to do left is the trees. And the trees, I could choose to do a dark brown or I could use a black. This is a tough decision. Hmm. I'm going to go with brown, I guess. I don't know. And I'm going to color in the whole tree. I'm going to press hard. I really want this tree to show up. And I'm kind of going over some of these lines that I've made, so I need to make sure that I am able to see the tree. That looks cool. I'm glad I chose the brown. Look at that. That kind of neat. And then once you have your tree branches, you might you could consider look at it and say, well, maybe I need to add add some more, add, make it go a little taller. You can add those sort of details after you make it and look at it. Say, oh, I need those small branches. Add some more here. What do you think? Colorful landscape. Landscape is shows the ground, property, land, and the image. Like if we're looking out a window. So, good luck making your colorful landscape. I look forward to seeing your art. Please post it on the art discussion. Thank you so much for um, a lot of you are making almost every single drawing. I love it. I love the participation. And I love the effort that I'm seeing. And the art cards really are very helpful because you can work smaller, quicker, faster, easier, and you're still putting in the same amount of thought. And if you like the way that one of your art cards, cards look, you can make it a big drawing. So I look forward to seeing it, and have a great day.